Oh, Heavenly Father, thank you for these guys who have deceased and gone on to be with you. And thank you for McCree's place. It's a safe haven for us, Lord. McCree's Place is a safe haven for 90 formerly homeless men, like Frank Bryce, who was living in an abandoned building. I wouldn't give nothing for the wood for it. This is a safe haven. Ever since I've been here, life has been better. It's just been beautiful. I go to NA meetings every week, and we go in and talk about our problems, you know, and uh, discuss that. You know, it's a good thing. People aren't homeless because they don't have a place to sleep. People are homeless because they're not able to navigate the culture in the way that most of us are. And so to have them be successful in housing, we want to provide them with wraparound services that will help that stability. Oh, okay, you know, yes, yes. Daryl Livingston joins Frank in the meetings. The community yes. at McCreesh Place ended his isolation. McCreesh. It was like a lifeline for me. I actually didn't really know what it meant to be a viable part of society because the, the major part of my life had been avoidance of civilized human beings. Well, I think it makes us a safer community because people who are at risk have those risks attended to, whether it's medical needs they get attended to, whether it's mental health needs they get helped. Um, sorry. It's still f freaky to me. <sighs> but he's back and that's what's important. Supportive housing communities mend lives. Tish Pollock hadn't seen her brother for 27 years. Well, you're worried, you know, and you're scared for him. And, and because th there were mental issues involved, um, you were even more scared for him, you know, you didn't know whether or not, you know, he was going to survive. Thomas went into the hospital diagnosed with uh, stage four cancer and um, I guess he started thinking about his family. So when I went to visit me and the property manager, he charged us with finding his family before he leave this world. Uh, Cheryl called and, and said, do you have a brother named Thomas? And I said, yes. I've been here maybe every day with the exception of a couple, couple days. I am of the opinion that I just need to enjoy the time we have together and kind of make up for not taking care of him years ago. The more I'm around them, I dread the day I have to leave him. 27 years. And with this, it's all different because my, you know, they are my family. Uh, a lot of the guys at McCreech Place think that they have burned their bridges with their families and their friends and they no longer want them in their life. Uh, and I have to believe that that's what Thomas was feeling for so long. Um, but the love and support that his family and friends are showing him now is just unbelievable. Oh, I used to have to sleep outside and I would sleep on a sleeping bag and had one to cover up with. And I stayed on the steps of a church on um, North Tryon. I stayed on the street for a long, long time. It was one day I had a real bad, nervous breakdown. Adria now lives in the supportive housing community at an off-site apartment. So since I've been here, they helped me get back on track about going to the doctor, you know, taking my medications. So it's, it's, it's a good place to be. The supportive housing community's lifeline saves taxpayers millions in health care costs. It makes fiscal sense. Uh, it costs approximately six million dollars to care for 75 chronically homeless people uh, over a two-year period. Uh, whereas it, here at McCreech Place, which is run by supportive housing communities, uh, it costs less than a third of that. And the formerly homeless here now pay rent. 
it's good to know that, you know, he was self-sufficient and take care of himself. And he's probably one of the strongest people I've ever met for what he's been through. People, there's so many people out there that don't know where their brothers or sisters or mothers or fathers are. And uh, we were the lucky ones to get him back. Over at McCree's, they got so many good people. They're a family. That place has been a miracle to me.